It is actually possible to add a word art shape to a chart. This would allow you to have a fancier, more dynamic, more in your face chart title, or even just a message across the chart. Now in order to add a word art, we simply select the chart, and we're going to use the one in the one bar chart file, format on the chart tool sub ribbons, and here's your word art styles. Now on the chart tools design and format ribbons, there is no insert word art option. There's a whole word art styles that will actually style the selected objects using word art items. So giving them that 3D effect or orientation. But if you want an original word art objects, we firstly have to go to the insert ribbon, all the way across here to text. And in the little drop down are the default choices for word art. So let's go with this one here. That then puts a box on the screen that says your text here. We can then click in and type our own text. My super chart. If we then want to adjust the word art style for that particular box, we can click on the border. We then have drawing tools format and pre-built word art styles. You can choose any of these. Quite like that one because it's got that 3D effect to it, bevel effect. But we can then customize the chosen style by controlling the text fill. So that's the main color of the text. Let's go for orange. Text outline, so that's the outside of each of the letters. Uh, let's go for goldy color. As well as being able to control the color of the text outline, we can control the weight. So making a much, much thicker outline if required. And whether that outline is a solid line as it is now or dotted. So you can see that as I choose the dots, they become part of the letter because I've got such a weight for my actual line. Let's do little dots, that looks quite nice. And then we have a number of text effects. Shadow, if I want to add shadow on the outside, on the inside, different perspectives of shadow. Oh, that one there, it gives me a shadow at the bottom. Or I can have reflection, or I can have a glow, different color glows here. Bevel, to make my text more button shaped, it makes it sort of stand off the page. Let's try that effect. 3D rotation, I can rotate the text out there. It looks like it's standing out and popping out. And then transform, these are the special word art shape choices. So you just effectively make small to large to small, small a bit bigger and then smaller, small but down and then up, slight wave rotating around a circle, bit of a twist on them, quite a few choices here. Here we make the letters fall in like a trapezium, or they get small to large. Let's try that. So you can see they're small to large and they're rotated and we have a drop shadow. So I've had quite a few effects added to there. That object can then just be moved and placed where you need it on the chart. That's a word art object. We insert the word art off the normal insert menu. And then with it selected, you have all the word art styles to then really experiment with. The options are the transformation option that really only applies to word art where you can make the text wave about or go in a circle. The rotation option for twisting around your text box. I'm twisting mine in that direction. Bevel to give that sort of button feel. Glow for adding a color glow behind the text. Reflection to make it look like you're at the side of the sea or at the side of a river. Or shadow. We have drop shadow as I've added here or very close crop shadow that just gives that slight 3D effect. So there's plenty of text effects that can be applied. Now, if we select our chart and go back to chart tools format, here we see the word art styles again. However, I've got nothing selected. So what will happen if I start to experiment with my word art styles by choosing perhaps one of the predefined options or experimenting with text color, fill color, and all of those effects. Well, let's choose one and see. So I choose this A, quite big and bold. What you see is all the text in the chart, so all the axis labels, the legend, and the chart title inherit that same word art style. So you do have to be slightly careful that you choose one that is legible. Just straightforward black. But then I could perhaps add in a bit of reflection. 
So my titles, my labels, everything gets that same effect applied to it. Maybe I'd like to change the color. Orangey. Fill color. Well, let's have no fill. So our text will just be bordered, but the lines are so thick you don't see an inside. So let's go for a very thin weight. Need some bigger words to see that in action, I think. If we have no outline, text appears to disappear, but it's not. It's just that it's transparent. If we went for a fill instead. You see, it's not quite as bold because it doesn't have that outline attached. So the word art styles that we've seen in action on a single piece of word art, as we have here, which is drawing tools format, exactly the same options. When you select the chart and go chart tools format, word art styles, it affects every text object on that chart, be that the axis labels, be that the legend text, be that the chart title. Pick these with care, but having the right choice can make your chart be more attractive, perhaps. Let's try that one. Definite no no. It needs to be a solid colour, I feel, but with a bit of outline. That is for you to experiment with. So this is for every single text object on your chart. With a piece of word art selected, the same options are only for that selected piece of word art. And should you wish to only control or change the word art style for any of your text objects, simply select that text object. So I'm gone for the chart title in this case, and I'm going to choose that A option with some serious green glow. Yuck. And red and blue fill. So that's made it look pretty awful, but just to demonstrate that you can choose a different word art style for each of the text objects. So your labels, your values, your legend, and your chart title.